Hello and welcome to the Alexandra Wenman Show. I am here with my dear friend, visionary artist, healer and channel, Adya Nova. I'm so excited to introduce you, Adya. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Oh my God. <laughs> and you know, as you can see, it's been ages since I've wanted to get this woman on the show. She's just amazing and such, um, so on my wavelength. <laughs> yeah. And as you can see behind us, we have a selection of Adya's beautiful art. So. I would like to invite you, my darling, just to talk us through what we have here and how you work with your mm. with your beautiful depictions of these beings. Ah, well, thank you again for having me, Alexandra. It's really a pleasure, and uh, yeah, it's been amazing to connect with you. And 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 we are soul sisters. We just need to find more time to <laughs> see each other. <laughs> see each other. Yeah. yeah, the human part is harder <laughs> yeah. to manage. But yeah, thank you. So these are some of the creations that I've made. Um, this one is, you know, one of my favorite paintings that um, uh, I created in the Angel of Abundance. Yes, please. Yes. <laughs> Everyone wants abundance, right? And it's, you know, abundance comes in many forms. And yeah, she, she came through. So these are all channeled. Um, they all come through in different ways. So being a visionary artist, I work in, in kind of different ways, which I'll explain as well. It's kind of fascinating, I think. Um, and basically, so some things come through, um, I actually get a vision. So I'll get a vision like an imprint, uh, like, I guess you could call it an inspirational idea, or, uh, and I will then go out and paint that. And I will, you know, work through that and I'll be guided to certain perhaps references or anything that I need that you know that I need to kind of be drawn to to see how that will be painted because of course from your imagination it can be sometimes a bit of tough like with the hand gestures and things like that but basically the vision will come through and I know what I'm painting and then generally though it will appear on the canvas on its own so I'll have maybe an idea and then it will start to kind of appear and it will get refined on the canvas so and then with the personalized guides that I paint, so I paint angels as well, guardian angels, and um, galactic portraits as well, and fairies and things like that. That usually, because I intend and I, you know, open my channel and I connect to the guide of the person I'm painting for, um, that's quite a journey because it literally, I don't really know what it's going to be, you know, I know that it's going to be galactic or an angel, that's as far as I know, and then it just appears, basically, it's almost like magic, it appears. Uh, They're very much alive though, like, for people watching, like, this being here is very active, we have a yeah. lot of um, energy coming off these, and, and, and very much a personality coming through, I almost feel like this being is kind of looking... <laughs> looking into me right now it's absolutely amazing and obviously you've got the galaxy here yeah so it, it's so this is from Sirius yeah it's just Sirius. Really yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, her name is Sensa she's from Sirius and um, there's a lot of uh, actually sensuality that the, the message she was bringing through and she when I painted her she was um, I think as far as I remember she was uh, orbiting the earth and her ship and basically she's She's bringing through a lot of the messages of like remembering to play and to be sensual and to, to like uh, bring more pleasure into our lives, which we all love, isn't it? And we were just talking about desires yeah. and, and, and articulating your desires, weren't we? Exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. So she's kind of all, all about that. And um, yeah, it's, it's amazing to, to bring these through. And then I painted a wolf. This is um, Vaz's, um, my fiance's. Uh, spirit animal and I felt really drawn to it and we sometimes I call him star wolf so it's kind of he's in the star as a star wolf and I love painting animals as well it's like really beautiful it's beautiful. It's beautiful energy the different energy of the different spirit animals that come through and this one is um we've got um the high priestess of Lemuria and in the background is Mount Shasta in California. So this is a place that we go to a lot. It's like a She's exactly as I see her. Really? You have painted her exactly really? as I see her. Oh, Complete it's... with the diamond here. That is unbelievable. I so hadn't really are... actually just looked at it. Like, well, like yeah. really looked at it. The, the white, the long hair. and Yeah, yeah, white, exactly. Yeah. I see the white hair. Absolutely and... amazing. That's blown my mind. This one is in, insane. Yeah. <laughs> Channel. 
yeah like it's, it's amazing when you get confirmations as well yeah. so, there's always some like parts of you that doubt isn't there and then until the the person you're painting for something like that comes through and they're like wow this really fits and that's really beautiful and yeah so she i've been she's been coming for a, a couple of years to me as well and and she's got this amazing soft but powerful energy and the more obviously the more yeah can talk all day about them and obviously <laughs> you've been to Mount Shasta numerous times yes. now haven't you yes. so so what is it about Shasta just for our viewers that that keeps calling you back yeah there? wow well you know when you go to a place that you just have instant connection to the divine and you know maybe in a city you need to meditate or do some kind of spiritual practice I feel over there it just feels like that it's like this like you're tapped in turned on <laughs> you know yeah. um and of course that also you know so you're um, like this portal of love this unconditional love that's like the lemurian essence and you're surrounded by that and you're like cocooned in it but it all of course it also helps you to process the stuff that isn't love right that's how mm -hmm. the shadow healing comes up but it's it's just on so many levels, on the spiritual level it's amazing, but also in nature. And nature is like a massive healer. And so the scenery, as you've been there, isn't it? The yeah, scenery stunning. is just... It's so crystalline too, the energy, isn't it? It's very yeah. pure there. It's so pure. It's rainbows, waterfalls, it's... Oh. Yeah, yeah, literally it's just can like yeah. get lost in the, in the, in the energy and the, in the frequency and the land. The land is so... I don't know the land there. It just calls you. Like so many people say, like Shasta's calling me, and it, it, she does call. And I feel like, you know, people who are ready to to go to the next level. I guess they are called by Mount Shasta, and to do the work there. Yes. Um, as and I hold retreats there, and and it's incredible because it just it's such transformational. People like um, come as one and leave as another person. Mm -hmm. So. It's 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 like high frequency basically high frequency. It's stunning. You've captured it so beautifully, and you often do get these spaceship clouds yeah. above it, don't you? Yeah, it's, it happens quite frequently. I had to bring in the cloud because they're incredible. Um, the way they form yeah. over there, and also the the Merkaba, I feel it really um, resonates with me as well. Vehicle of light, you know all that. Mm -hmm. Merkaba. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you for that that confirmation. Yeah, she's. Amazing, like the, the, the orb in her hair is so exactly like the light that we're holding for the earth, right? It's almost like Baz and I were exactly. talking about planting seeds of light on the earth and, and really, really anchoring our vision for the new epoch of earth here on this planet. I think it's really important that yeah. we get to see this because what you're doing seems to be you're, you're making these beautiful visions concrete. And I love that. It's almost it's it's so evidential, and we all need evidence. Mm. And, and you know that fact that you've painted her, and yeah. you painted her, and I, and I see her like this. I'm sure there are many others that see her in the same way. Oh, it's really stunning. Yeah, totally. Totally. Like, yeah, she's here, right? Yeah, and the same with the guides. You know, mm. the people that um, have had their guides painted for them. You know, they have this permanent reminder. Uh, you know that spirit is there and, and we can forget sometimes we, we lose our way or we just we just need that reminder and I feel that art is one of the ways that is I you know I'm so blessed to to be exploring this and you know I, I feel like I still have such a long way to to really be able to translate the divine but it's such a beautiful journey and, and I enjoy it. And you know, I have massive shifts when painting. I was going to say, yeah. so what, what happens? Because after you paint one, I mean, for example, Angel of Abundance, and she's mm. obviously come to bless you, yeah. and then you're sharing her energy, so you're channeling her through. So what, what tends to happen after you've painted one for you on a personal level? So generally, I actually move through um, shifts during the painting because the painting is such a journey. Um, it's a massive teacher for me, and obviously it's a therapy on one level and then it's a teacher on another level and it's always moving beyond comfort zones and everything. It's like a, a beautiful journey and then you match that with energy, healing energy, so being a healer and bringing through the frequencies and also obviously channeling through the being itself. You can't help but like have shifts. So I've, I've been in tears sometimes when I'm painting, whether it's 
just generally I'm bringing through something or for for a client as well I've just sometimes with the angels when I paint angels I just feel so much joy mm -hmm. because the angels are for me they're pure joy they're so pure and every joy. time I think of angels I think pure you're, joy. you're like pure joy yeah. though, so they're like reflecting yes yeah, so like, like, ah. well this one painted me a beautiful guardian angel for my 40th birthday which I will show on the video and She's one of my favourite things. She's hanging in the hallway of my house. So that mm. as I come in, I get blessed by my little angel yeah. every time I walk in. And I always think of you when yeah. I see that angel. Even though we don't get to see each other that often, it's we definitely, mm. there's a heart connection mm. here. So when you paint... You sparked my angel and painting spirit guides journey, actually. Really? Like my, yeah, that was my first angel that I painted. The very first? The very first one, yeah. Actually, so, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> so like I I just knew like you know when you're just taught like show and you have to do something for someone and, and when you're doing it for someone it feels even more like you know, filled up with joy and at that moment I knew I had to paint this this angel, her angel and Wow, well, you really and birthed something on you birthed something on my birthday. Uh, but, yeah. Oh my god. And you, you birth your you know, your mm -hmm. energy. I just needed need yeah. to do that. And then from there, it just kind of just, people just started messaging me and asking me to have their angel painted. painted. So it was almost like spirit. Because that's when I really uh, married my gifts of um, healing and channeling with the art. Wow. Because the art, I've had a really long journey with art. Um, I was drawing when I was little, but then I had a, a long self-worth journey with it where I, I gave it up for a long time because, you know, I guess it's all divine timing. And then and I opened up to being a healer and a channel and holding groups and things like that. It was all kind of amazing. And then I got, you know, then the art came back. It's almost like, it's like, it's like you weren't meant to use it. In a, in a way that didn't have the deeper meaning. Yeah. And I, find, I found that with my poetry too. Mm. I wasn't meant to go and do it academically. Mm. It was meant to come through the healing. And, and I think you're very yeah. much, like you're so in your power with it now, Angel. It's amazing. It, I have to tell you, the symbols on either side. So this painting, um, I think I've seen this painting on your Instagram. Probably. Have you put it up? I have, but yeah. I didn't notice the symbols on either side. Yeah. And I was just in a castle in Porchester Castle down near Portsmouth mm -hmm. and having a well, and then we went to crop circles the next day so that symbol with all the infinities that yeah. you've drawn, drawn either side mm. was carved into the wall in Porchester Castle wow. twice and I was wow. look I was so drawn to that symbol I was like wow look at the intricacies of it it's so beautiful it might not be exact but it was very mm. similar mm. and then when we're in the middle of the crop circle this is what I got this shower of light Oh. And but it had all light language kind of glyphs coming through it, oh, and then yeah. many members of our group saw the same thing: the showering of this downpouring of, of light, like almost like seas of light. I love yeah, that it's actually. Really beautiful. So it's confirmation again. That is amazing confirmation. Yeah, mm -hmm. the double infinity is just like yeah, it's it's ultimate, isn't it? It's such a an amazing symbol. And amazing what you say about light language. I one of the beings I painted a galactic being. Like that's exactly what I painted. This light trickling down of light language. light language and I really like I, I get shivers when I think about mm. that it's almost like the matrix thing isn't it yes but like with the coding. light language is encoding yeah, yeah it's encoding so I definitely want to bring more of that into my paintings as well so yes please so absolutely amazing. stunning I love it and there's so many people drawn to it now I feel yeah. drawn to this one here yeah. she's so beautiful we won't we don't want to keep her down no. <laughs> she's holding holding us <laughs> So this is um, Ashana, she's from uh, Lyra, the star system of Lyra, and yeah, she's quite a playful one actually. Um, I painted her quite a while ago, so I can't remember exactly <laughs> what she represents, but um, but obviously I have like, I have massive connection with Lyra, I don't know. I feel like she's very, almost part of your soul energy, she feels very connected to you. Someone else said could that. Be you it could be you in your Lyran yeah. life. She's very like you. And, and it is that playful, like to me, Lyrans are all about joy and really sparking our joy. And um, when I was in Egypt in 2012, I had a visit from the Lyrans and they, they were amazing. And they, they came in, it was midnight on the 21st of the 12th, 2012. They came flooding into wow. my hotel room in Cairo 
and I was up till four o'clock in the morning with my, my, my soul sister Lorraine and a few of our friends and these lyrens bounced in mm. to our room like little coiled springs of yellow light and it was like boing and they were going fun 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 fun, 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 fun. and they came in because we were absolutely wetting ourselves laughing the energy was so high we couldn't stop laughing we were laughing like hyenas and um, these lyrens came in so they do they're very much about returning nice. to joy and that's that's so you that's Let's so your yeah. energy you're such a playful joyful yeah, yeah I, think I feel like that that's what like that is yeah coming through me in this life and like I was so in, against seriousness for a while <laughs> no seriousness <laughs> but then it was like how do I be an adult <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just want to play <laughs> just got to learn to know when when to take things seriously yeah, exactly. and when not to, but we can still be serious and, and bring a cheeky I think element so. into yeah, it yeah that's what we're learning I think isn't it um, I love her. Yeah, definitely. So that feline energy, they've got quite, you know, they yeah. have, they're um, a really strong race as well, aren't they? So, yeah, they're incredible. The energy coming off these is amazing. I'm so, oh my god, I'm so blown away. Can we put her up here? So yeah, can... so it's different, isn't it? In real life, it's like the pictures, so the pictures are different to real life paintings. Yeah. And there is a sort of, that's what people say, it's kind of an energy mixing from them, which is great for me to know you know I mean I feel it yeah but I wonder as well if others feel it you know and that's kind of feels like that's my purpose you know to bring that through Mm. for people to like because I've seen art myself and I've sobbed my eyes out because I don't know why Mm. but the connection or whatever like um there was a book called um What's it called by, by Lisa Royal? And there was, a, there was an alien painting on the front, but it was just like a, um, you know, like I was holding a, a child, so it was like mm-hmm. a, a hybrid sort of thing. But I just saw, and it was kind of more, more or less a drawing, but, but just something just went straight and deep into my heart, and I was like, <gasps> you know, like that emotion. And that's kind of what I want to be able to um, evoke. Give, yeah, yeah, evoke for people to be able to have that connection, to have that knowing. That spirit is real. That I think you are, lies. my darling, already. Yeah, they're, they're, I hope so. It's really healing. I can feel the energy. This one's very present uh, with us at the moment because as we film this, uh, it's only a few days before the, the Lion's Gate portal, the Syrian portal. So these two feel very connected to that Leonine um, energy and the, mm. the, 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 the lining up of the, the sun and Sirius. I've had a lot of Syrian energy coming through at the moment. It's really amazing, amazing. It feels very active. Mm. So I'm wondering if, you know, at different astrological points, the paintings get more active depending on the energy mm. around. And they, they get, because they are like portals, mm. aren't they? Mm. They really are. That's true, actually. That's a really amazing way to see it. Yeah. That's true. We actually have a, an event uh, coming up on, the, on that. So we'll bring her to. They're, they're amazing at space holders as well. Yeah, right? yeah. So like mm-hmm. art is like you walk into a room and it can change. Yeah. It, can sh- it can shift your mm-hmm. vibration. It can shift the way that you, yeah, it can elevate you. And, and I feel that it's now moving, you know, it's becoming much more important now. Mm-hmm. Art or, or creativity. Mm-hmm. It's been kind of like, you yeah. know, society has thought, you know, it's what? kind of frivolous or something. Yeah, it's, it's like so just doubting, but actually it's so important. It's so important. Yeah. For our state of being, for fulfillment, and for yeah. just creativity in general, in all in all ways, and I feel like even with channeling itself, um, obviously there's a lot of channeling channels that bring information mm-hmm. through, and it's so important. But I feel like we're moving into more channeling creativity as well, because that's our ultimate state of being, really. That's our mm-hmm. natural state of being, right? Mm-hmm. When we're you know dancing, we're connected, we lose ourselves, that trance state. Um, and I feel that, yeah, through creativity, we can really bring that um, in. It's tapping into your pure tapping. genius, isn't it? You know, that so many people, I think, are afraid to to tap into their genius. It, for like the confidence thing we were talking about, like for fear of being judged or, mm-hmm. you know, standing out or doing something weird or wacky or whatever. But I think when we're tapping into that pure genius, we can evoke so much mm-hmm. in others. And it's about that emotional connection we have as humans. Mm. I agree, and I, like I've I've had my own journey with painting, you know, galactic beings. You know, I feel comfortable being on your show because of who you are. Yeah, we can talk. But generally, <laughs> yeah, you're like, mm, you know, how am I gonna be seen? You know, what what is this? You know, what does this mean? Like, you know, you know, like channeled messages and things like that. There is always there's like this edge of like, 
There goes our light. There goes the light. <laughs> We've got our own light. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so it's a, it's a beautiful journey to just really, we need to step out, isn't it? We mm. need to show up and share yeah. our works and, and share that these beings are real. I think there's a lot of us working on the, the kind of more celestial spectrum that we, like star seeds and light workers. And we're really being asked to reveal ourselves now and to sort of come out and talk about this and normalize it and and not be afraid to talk about the fact that we're having these beautiful visitations and activations and things like that. And I know that um, 2017 I was in Lourdes in France and actually took a picture of a huge blue Arcturian being oh, yeah. called Brigon. That's and, amazing. You know, it's irrefutable, this irrefutable. picture. You know, it, it is, and they will use the light and shadow available to show themselves. So I see faces constantly mm. now in my coffee cup, you know, in in um, windows, in, in the reflection of things. In, and I see like little little elementals in the plants and the mm. way that the light and shadow falls yeah. and that and orbs of light. And, you know, we can see it. We just need to have the eyes to see and the ears to hear and to know how to see beyond what is physical. And we all have that gift and that ability. And I think that, you know, this is so, to me, these coming through now in art, through you in these visual representations, it's bringing them to life and it's actually helping to anchor their energy mm. here on the earth plane and it's not just their energy it's our energy mm. because we have had you know many of us have had lifetimes in these other realms and we're remembering mm. we're remembering and we're trying to um, I believe you know bring the, the remembrance of those beautiful dimensions the love dimensions and those places where they had already um, Achieved ascension, I suppose, in, in yeah. for want of a better word, word. Um, here, anchor it here, mm -hmm. bring mm -hmm. it here. We're making this a, a new potential reality mm -hmm. for the earth, and and how that reality plays out is still to be seen, because even these guys are saying we can't wait to see what you do next. Yeah. We yeah. can't wait to see what human beings are capable of now, because it's never been before. It hasn't yeah. been written. You know, it has been written, but it hasn't. Yeah, you know, it's so changeable. They're excited. Aren't so they? excited. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we're ambassadors, or you know, yeah. like obviously we're bridges, but we're also like. Like pioneers, pioneers, I say. Pioneers, yeah. yeah. And, so. and I feel like they're, you know, like, uh, sometimes I'm like, okay, I'm bringing through these beings, you know, in my way, through my kind of art. And obviously, there's lots of people bringing through beings in this way. But I feel that like they're coming in to, like, um, to help people get used to them being real yeah. as well. Like, I don't know yeah. if that makes sense. It's kind of like, because especially with galactics, there's still a lot of, you know, fear around that. Mm -hmm. A lot of um, there's been a lot of programming through, yeah. through movies and etc. Yeah. You know, lots of that. Yeah. So I feel like we need to slowly get people into that place, and I feel like they're coming through using us, yeah. right, as conduits to yeah. then anchor, like you say, anchor that, make it normal. They are, make they it are normal, yeah. and they are preparing make to normal. make themselves more physically known. Um, I do have some guides uh, that are showing up more physically yeah. now and like they'll walk beside me. I will see them in my peripheral vision, huge 12 foot tall, wow. purple, yeah. blue being, like beautiful, loving beings and they'll let me know that they're there. And I had one experience with this Akkadian being that was like walking around me going, do you know where I am? And I was like, you're standing behind me, you're to my left. And then I could see him. Yeah. And the minute I turned to look, he went because if there's any hint of fear, mm. they'll vanish, you know, they don't want to... And I have a few other guides that, that kind of come in, and I and I you you know you can close your eyes, and they're physically actually mm. there as mm. real as you and I are sitting mm. here now. But if they sense any fear whatsoever, they will just go because they don't they're not in the business of of causing fear. There are, as we know, some that aren't yeah. of the light that do do that. But it, I just think humanity is really getting ready to to understand that we are part of a much bigger, vaster universe and multiverse and mm. that we're not alone and you know there are many that y y do say it's arrogant of us to think that we're alone but I think it's a lot nice. of people think that they only exist on a physical level mm -hmm. right and yes. we know that there's so many more dimensions that's right beyond exactly. that and that they all exist within us yeah. as well and I guess that's what they fear as well isn't it that mm. physical and I still have those within me as well obviously there's levels yeah. it's like I bring them through like this they're showing themselves but I think sometimes I would be more open to them being like I, yeah it's 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 a journey isn't it and I think they're easing their, their way in and I think that's the best way because like you say they don't want to create fear that's not what they're about no. 
So how can they Beautiful. ease into our lives? Yeah. Like, I love that that you you know you're in a place where you can you're so comfortable with them. Yeah. Doing it. But it actually made me think as well. Like uh, sometimes when we hold these healing transmissions, um, the we we get people saying, "Did you come and place your hand on my head?" Or yes, we were talking about. Yeah, this. did you? Because yeah. I felt physical healing when I went to Baz's, um I think the first I am transmission I went to a couple of years ago. Yeah. I actually felt beings come in and put their hands so on hands, me. Yeah. And it feels like real, totally tangible. real, very tangible. It's becoming more physical these days. Yeah. So I'm gonna, are yeah. you going to run some painting workshops? Yes, I am planning to. Good. Yeah, I am planning to yes. run some painting workshops. So um, some of them will be more um, playful, so more like channeling the energy just into like a inner child playful way where you know we can just connect and let go and really allow that to heal um more it's like more of a therapeutic channeled kind of way like and then the other one is a much deeper one where i'm eventually going to create experience a workshop where i help people to channel their own angels okay. eventually go amazing through yes. yes and paint themselves yeah Beautiful. so it's taking time to kind of develop that and find a way how i can teach that mm -hmm. you know because it's a, it's a process that you don't necessarily think about mm -hmm. to put into like a, a process because yeah, yeah. you just do it naturally You're just doing yeah. It. yeah and this yeah. is how it is and then you ha when you teach something it's a completely different yeah you have to story. do it step by step you don't break yeah. it down it's yeah. like a recipe like, yeah. like an ancient recipe that you know how to cook with your eyes closed kind of thing yeah. and then you have to go oh this is the ingredients you know yeah. this is how you make yeah, it you're like, like me we do it all backwards right yeah we just kind of channel it and go I, I know i just know what i'm doing i don't know how i know yeah i'm just doing it and then it's like okay i need to start teaching this now um right <laughs> yeah where do i start yeah. because we've kind of gone through the whole process ourselves I'm being brought right back to the angels now. Mm. I find there's a lot of really um, powerful angelic energy coming back to the planet. It's almost not that it ever left, but it's becoming mm. more prevalent mm. in our daily lives. And so I'm being asked to go back to basics and really start teaching people about angels and, and, and the beginnings of where I learned and, and sort of guide them through yes. and take them through the whole process. Yes. So I've kind of started developing a course that I'm going to start doing, but it's, oh, brilliant. I would love for you That's to brilliant. teach something in this. You can sign me up straight oh, away. Yeah. <laughs> I would mean, love to. It's, it's just, I think that's... I think it's really needed too for people to understand that they have their own connection mm. with these beings and with their guides mm -hmm. and their, their higher self and their, their team and that there, you know, there really isn't um, anyone who doesn't have yeah, these exactly. gifts and abilities. It's just about developing it, isn't it? And, and it's also um, letting people know that it's, you know, everyone's got their journey. It doesn't mean, you know, if it's hard at the beginning, it, you know, for some of us, it wasn't easy to connect mm -hmm. with the angels. I think it's important to hear stories where, you know, we've lost perhaps that connection since, you know, maybe mm -hmm. we're new as a child and then, when we grew up, we, you know, we got, um, you know, deconditioned it. Yeah. And then, you know, for me, like, I remember I was actually in Australia. Oh. I was, yeah, I was in Australia <laughs> for a year. And I remember that's when I really wanted to connect with angels. It started to come through and there was um, people with oracle cards. And, you know, I'd been more into Eastern before that. So it's kind of started to peak its way. And I remember uh, this um, oracle card deck by Doreen Virtue, yeah. of course. <laughs> And there was one card that said, you know, meditate, your angels will want to speak to you or something like, just hear, her, like, hear them, just meditate and listen to them. And I remember being so frustrated that I didn't know how to listen to them. Like, I can't hear anything, <laughs> you know, everything. <laughs> because you don't, at that time, I didn't really know about clairvoyance or, or the, you know, all the clairs, um, you know, the senses. So I didn't understand how to to listen. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand that it was with an innocence rather than my literal yeah, like physical hearing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, because you just don't get it if, you, if it's, you're not with something used to. So I think it's really important to begin to also share that with people that, it, you know, it takes time and it's just to be, like, to persevere and stuff. And, and now, like, uh, 
like for me the angels it's funny actually because I ask them the silliest things um, but that's how like I get confirmations that they confirmation that they're around because I'll be like can't find my keys help me find my keys yeah, yeah, yeah. and then yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, just as soon as I forget that I'm looking for yeah. my keys there they will they're be there. yeah so yeah. it's like that letting go part <laughs> yeah or I can't I really need my crystal or I really need this and literally they will take I know it's them because I remember that I asked. Yeah, so it's little things like that. It's just yeah, because it's magic. Thought. Sort of surrender it, don't you? Like, yeah. Well, you'll have a thought. I often find that we can be asking and asking for things that we want to, and if it's not aligned, it doesn't happen. Mm. And it's almost like then we need to. It's like a part of us needs to catch up with what our higher self wants, and then it drops in like an idea, doesn't it? It's like. Oh, oh yes. I'm not meant to be doing that. I'm meant to be doing this, and then yes. it's like something goes click, yes. and it drops in your lap, or the, the the thing that you that you suddenly realize what you're meant to be doing happens, yeah. and the door opens. Yes, yes. And I always remember that when I when I feel like uh, oh, I I need to push to do something. It's like no, ask, mm. sit back, mm. and then receive. And if it's meant to be yours, and and I keep saying, you know, if that's not for me, mm. then show me what is. Yeah, show me what where you want me. Show me where I'm meant to be. Mm. And then allow me to to open to that, to catch up to that. I've just seen exactly. that that symbol is on the cover of Lorraine's book too, as well. Look, there oh, it is. Oh yeah, yeah the infinity, them. double infinity, double infinity, oh. and there's two of them. Yeah, it's wow. amazing. Abundance. Abundance. It's time to receive, Science. really, is, isn't it? Yeah. No. I feel like um, we're moving into this. I think we're we're finding our way to uh, out of this idea, which is just an idea story of struggle yeah. that humanity has been feeling. Yeah. I mean, maybe you know, there's obviously some people are um, finding the way first, which they have, you know. But we're finding our way out of that state of being and into this new state of being that is more allowing. More, yeah, more allowing. Yeah. yeah, and it's. It's an interesting transition, like because it's obviously layers of it as well, but it's an interesting transition and I'm feeling that as well. And it's like there's an old part that just holds on. Yeah. It's like, can you let it in? Yeah. Can you let abundance in fully? Yeah. Like really you open deserve to it. Yeah. yeah. Can you just receive? Yeah. And it's receiving, you know, when you receive compliments, do you get you know, I sometimes still get icky when I receive really amazing compliments, and I'm like, I don't know how to handle it. Yeah. We're so used to giving, aren't so we? Giving, yes. I'm working on this part of me at the moment that overgives. Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll give and then I'll give a bit more, and mm -hmm. I, and I go over what that person needs, and I'm like, no, take it all, and I've been doing it so much yeah. recently, and I'm like, why am I doing this? Keep something for yourself, mm -hmm. Al. You know, and mm -hmm. it's that you know, growing up, you know, being told as a woman first of all, and being raised a Catholic, you know, oh no, don't keep anything for yourself. It's selfish, you know, really, honestly. And at the moment, I'm I'm in a place in life where things are opening and there are beautiful opportunities coming my way, and it's like I'm really uncomfortable, really uncomfortable yeah. with receiving something for me without sharing it with loads yeah. of people or who can I push to the front, who can I carry, yeah. who can I help? Yeah. And it's letting go of that and allowing, no, I've worked for this, I'm allowed mm. this, it's okay. And I really think a lot of a lot of people struggle with it, empaths especially, and women doubly, you know, mm. because we've constantly had to be the nurturers and yeah. kind of almost allow people to feed off us yes. in a way. Yeah. So, yeah, that's an interesting thing. But I want to ask you just before we, we start to wrap up, yes. how, do, how do you work with in terms of your healing work how do, how do you operate? How do I work? Um, you mean healing generally, not not related to the main yeah, like, yeah, yeah, just as a healer and with your so, group stuff. Oh yeah, so basically, um, I I personally use um, a mixture of healing modalities. So one would be Baz's amazing divine uh, and transitions. Yeah. Um, which works with the planetary light grids, and it's um, it's actually mostly hands off. Uh, you you can bring a lot of energy into the room in in you know in one go and spirit works amazingly with that as well and the layers help to clear and cleanse and it's really incredible it's so powerful I call it energy medicine because I would uh, I would say it's it's very close to as kind of a um, a way that plant medicine works mm, I would yes. say because it can it can really shift on a deep level mm -hmm. of on your like cellular level and, and and ways that we can't understand with our ego right because it goes beyond the story it goes beyond it? the story yeah. and that's what plant medicine does essentially mm -hmm. right you mm -hmm. just allow it kind of thing and i feel that's how it works 
um, but it's so much more than that. Um, and obviously, and then also I'm a, I'm a Reiki master, so I bring that in as well, in in whichever way. So I love both ways, like hands on. I feel, I feel it's a beautiful way as well to to, like I don't know when I hug someone, I feel that energy. You know, yeah. it's really beautiful. And then, but generally, mostly I work um, distantly or from you know bringing into the room and with groups, um, retreats and. We have a channeling retreat coming out. I'm not sure if Maz mm. mentioned. No, it um, so tell yeah, tell us about what's coming. Out. I mean, obviously this will go on YouTube. So yeah, but at the time of filming, maybe this is too late. Out, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but there may be something else. So you're doing Chester yeah. in 2020, aren't 2020, you? 2020, yes. What dates in 2020 are you thinking of going? I think it's um, it's already set. It's oh, okay, a, yeah, it's on the 11th, I think May to the 18th. But I'm not hundred. I think it's or 12th. I can't remember exactly the dates. Um, and it's Manchester. California and it's called open to channel and it's something that Vaz and I have been like we already started doing it this year in this mm -hmm. retreat um, but we're just growing it now because Spirit has been pushing us to do it for such a long time to really work with channeling mm -hmm. and and see as that much like I was saying with creativity mm -hmm. as well so in there is actually a training to become a healer of divine I am transmissions of Vaz amazing um, modality and then with that we work with creatively bringing that through and playing with that and really um, building that channel and Oman Shasta loves to work with us <laughs> as well. It's so, the most amazing place just, too in those energies yeah. seriously. <laughs> to be attuned oh my wow. goodness it was incredible like this year we did it it was just incredible to see these people become like like masters overnight right you just you, you, it's amazing to see how easy it is for people to become the healers already mm -hmm. and it's just that belief and that practice and it's just keep going with it and I love bringing the art part through for me because just to see people because it's so playful as well and so joyful mm -hmm. and also channeling through and, and, and allowing them to to see that there's messages from spirit in in all ways and when mm -hmm. we let go and bring it through like when we're drawing or painting or something we can see in that and we do like readings and things like this and magic circles and uh, so many things are happening so and going around all the portals <laughs> and activations and yes it's, it's a really magical time and yeah and this one's going to be really amazing we have an amazing group coming already so i'm really excited and, and every time it gets deeper for us as well that just mm -hmm. works and when it's a group energy, as you know, it's yeah. such a different experience. Oh, it's, it's, it multiplies it by thousands yeah. and thousands, doesn't it? It really, really opens that up yeah. for deep shifts to happen. I, mean, I believe that. Other. I believe like retreats and are the new holidays that <laughs> yeah, really take over. Yeah, definitely. Because why would you go? I mean, it's nice to lie on a yeah. beach, but why? You could meet lots of amazing souls and have this experience and come out much lighter, much brighter, transformed, and you know, yeah. like a different person. I feel That's like it's the new way. Because we're craving that heart connection yeah. right now. It's, it's almost like I know that for the likes of you and I and people who are on that awakened path, it's small talk ain't gonna cut it you know no. we really need those deep truthful almost exposed conversations and, mm -hmm. and really let it, it's almost like I feel like I want to see the real rawness of people now the, the real inner truth of who they are and, mm. and really feel that and on a, on a much deeper level yeah. that's that connection it's important isn't yeah it? it's like soul nourishing mm, totally. and then having all that around as well isn't it yeah. catered being catered for something yeah. about being held and yeah. And having that, yeah, it's um, it's powerful. I feel that's the new way. Definitely. And I feel that visionary art is the new way as well. Definitely. I feel that's where we're heading. So you know, of course. How can people get in touch with you if somebody wants to commission one of your beautiful artworks? Mm. How can they find you? So they can go to adianova.com. So it's a d y a n o v a dot com. And I'll pop it. Um, I'll pop some links underneath the video, so you can just click on the link and go straight to Adia's website. Yeah, you um, can explore everything on there, basically. Perfect. Yeah. And you'll have the retreats and everything on there as yes, well. Yes, I'll need to put that on there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so tech. Yeah, I'm a bit behind with technology. Updating yeah, <laughs> my website. Yeah. To say I'm more like I want to spend more time in the <laughs> studio, you know. Yeah. So it's balancing that, you know, the human. Yeah, part. and you are on Instagram, so if anyone wants to see more of Adia's art, you've got plenty oh, yeah. of pictures on there, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you can follow me on Instagram as well and follow the journey. 
I would I would say suggest like pick a picture that resonates with you and just meditate on it and mm. see if you get any of your own messages through from mm. these beings. Yes, so some people they're do. like oracles. They're That's really right. amazing. Yeah, some people do. It's, it's I love hearing that that people have their own. You know, they can have their own journey with the beings or whatever, whichever images, because really it's about that. Mm, we want everyone awesome. to be empowered, right, with what they totally. receive. So whatever you receive, you may see this being and think that's not serious <laughs> you know that might be from somewhere else but whatever it is real i mm. think for each of us is more important mm. because that's the message that we need to know in that mm. time so I've, I've had to learn that as well because i've also you know painting these beings and you know these are civilizations and um that are already kind of known and mm. people kind of already know what they look like mm. and so or have an idea or have an idea <laughs> what they look like so there's this part that that wonders you know is you know does it need to be in the way that everyone is perceived but there's so many different Gym varieties yeah. yeah i mean uh, you yeah. know i remember we, we went on a that crop circle visit and i was as surprised as everyone when i started channeling these reptilian beings but they were not negative they yeah. weren't harmful they were brilliant green almost dragon-like stunning uh light beings they were like they were ascended light beings and they came through with such a beautiful message about shedding old skins and you know rebirth and renewal and and they mm. even said didn't they you know think about your beautiful reptilian your beautiful lizards on the earth yeah. you know like the animals I love that we have snakes there. it's like that the dragons. snakes and the dragons the wash yeah. dragons yeah. and things like that and i was like wow because they were like a bit like water dragons mm. or or that but the green was amazing wow. so we we often have a perception and then yeah. your mind gets blown open even more and you suddenly go wow there's there's two sides to every coin mm. really there is a, and I, I do believe that yeah wow Adia, thank you thank so, you so much. much for talking to me today honey have you got any parting words for our viewers before we go parting words i would say you know always Keep, you know, keep trying to connect with your guides if that's what you're doing and, 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 and channeling, um, you know, find ways that, you know, work for you. But I would say, like, never give up on, on the guides because they are all, all, always around you and you have a whole team of your own guides. And, you know, just keep, just keep going because a lot of people get discouraged. They feel it's not for them. So... Mm -hmm. Forget all those um, stories that say that you know you're not good enough or you don't know how to do it. I would say that everyone knows and everyone has. It's not a unique gift that's only given to some of us. Um, we've all had to you know refine it and work on it, and then it's like it's just like a skill really. It's like a muscle that you build. So just start somewhere and just never give up because you know the the joy, the joys that they bring, you know, is just incredible. So yeah. Beautifully. And love from your guides. I love from I'd love to you from from both of us. And, us. and thank you so much. I just want to send a personal thank you out to all the people that are viewing and supporting the show. Um, we're putting it out as free content here to help raise the vibration of the planet for you, um, and just to normalize the conversation because you know on a on a on a personal level we know how difficult it is if you're a light worker trying to kind of break down some of those predisposed. Mm -hmm. um, mindsets around yeah. what we do is it can be difficult and you can feel a little bit like you're out like a leaf blowing in the wind all on your own so just know that keep going you're not alone there are so many people waking up on the planet now and realizing that there's so much more to life than this physical 3d reality and uh we know because we've been through it and <laughs> yeah. still going through it you yeah. know it's an ongoing journey yeah. so um just want to say from my heart thank you for supporting the show and uh, and for, for showing up to to help us, people like us, feel confident to speak openly about this. Yeah. And uh, yeah, with so much love. And I got to oh, hug this one because so I love her. Mm. And just thank you to all of you. Thank you, for, yeah. thank you for being here. And, and for everyone, thank you so much for watching. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>